welcome to the sh shop my stash i am so excited it's been a little while since i've done a shop my stash i found these really cute shopping baskets instagram recommended it to me they're absolutely the cutest When I pick up this little shopping basket, it's just so exciting. So yeah, I love this little this little shopping basket. <laughs> Let me just move on to the actual content. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you do end up liking this video while you're watching it, let me know by clicking that like button um, or subscribing if you want to see more content from me. And if you see anything particularly cool that you want to hear more about, please leave me a comment. Thank you so much. Let's get into it. So I'm going to start with the complexion products. This has to be my fullest basket yet. There's quite a few different things and let's get started. So the first thing that I'll pull out are these two shades of the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. This one's Shell L0 and this one is Porcelain L1. This has to be my favorite foundation ever. I just love how dewy it is and if you add a little powder on top it can last all day. It's full coverage, it's buildable, it just looks so it just looks so good and it looks even better throughout the day. If you want full coverage, dewy, glowy, this is definitely one to consider. To get my perfect shade, I mix these two in about half and half and the packaging is really nice. It's got that pump right there. It feels luxe. It's about $15, which is around the price of drugstore foundations now nowadays. But I've almost panned this one and I'm actually to the point where I unscrew the pump and mix it on my hand like this. Generally, I wouldn't do that, but I enjoy this foundation so much that I totally do. <laughs> and that's a lot. So, yeah. Love this foundation so much. I am barreling through this. This is very nearly almost done. I'm going to get another one and another one. And I'm kind of scared that it's going to get discontinued. But we shall see. I hope not because this is just so good. I haven't found a foundation that, comp like, that compares at all to this. The next product I have is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Bronzet in the shade Light. I have really been enjoying this bronzer so much. I bought this a few months ago, I want to say. I've had it for a little while and the embossing doesn't show it because I've been trying to uh, wear it evenly across. I really do like the little waves. so. I want to keep that as long as possible, but I'll swatch a little bit of it for you. And let me build that up a little bit. This is a bronzer that is great for pale skin. It's a little bit cool tone, but it still bronzes in such a natural way. I don't like orange bronzers. I'm not a fan of the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, but if you like a similar texture that has a little bit of a shimmer, but it's honestly not a shimmer. It's more, it's more satin, but it is just so great. This is absolutely perfect. It's like a bronzy shadow. I highly recommend this. This was also more expensive. The L'Oreal products at the drugstore are definitely on the higher end, and honest to goodness, I, I think this is worth it. If you happen to get it on um, a discount, 
I think you'll like it. They have a couple of shades. Um, there's only three shades, so if there's one that matches for you, totally recommend. I can't wait to um, pick up the L'Oreal Paris, the new bronzers. I'm really excited for that. So yeah, let me put this in here. I'm just, yeah, I, I, I've shot my stash for this basically every time. And honestly, there's just no other bronzer in my collection that I want to reach for because this fits, this fits the bill every time. The next product I'm going to shop my stash is for this ColourPop Disney Designer Collection Pressed Powder Highlighter in Horse and Carriage. This again is a repeat for my shop my stashes. I really love this highlighter. I haven't been using it um, lately, which is surprising to me because I really do enjoy it. I haven't been reaching for highlight at all really I've just been kind of skipping that step but after swatching this I want to get back into it lately I've just been skipping bronzer or bronzer and highlight and just using blush and so it's like blush first then bronzer and if I have enough time or desire, I'll then add highlight. I have a few other highlights coming into the Shop My Stash, so you can see that I'm hopeful to use more highlighter. The next thing that I'll put in is the Danessa Myricks Dew Wet Balm in Hot Shower. This is such a lovely product. This you can use in so many instances. You can use it as lip gloss, you can apply it to your cheeks, you can apply it on your eyelids. It's just so lovely. This is definitely, I've been reaching more for this kind of product because it fills the cream kind of um, desire that I've been having lately. I watched the Batman last night and Zoe Kravitz had such a beautiful dewy cheek the entire movie and it made me think of this product in particular of this dew wet balm and I'm just so excited to lather my face in this <laughs> so I can look that fresh and that's the swatch there's little bronzy flecks in this one, which make it a little different from the clear version. And it honestly doesn't add that much color, but it just, the sheen of it is so irresistible and eye-catching, but it's very natural. You wouldn't think of it as something being like, you wouldn't think of it as trying too hard. Or think like, ooh, someone put lips like lip gloss on their face. Like you would just think like, wow, they have healthy skin. The next product I have is this number seven. It's super dirty. <laughs> this number seven lift and luminate triple action lifting powder finishing powder and light. Hello, yeah. <laughs> I got a new phone. I'm really excited. So this powder is fantastic. Many say it's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, they're like main powder. I'm not that interested in Charlotte Tilbury, but I was very interested in the blurring properties of this powder. And I'm here to add to that commendation that yes, it is very blurring. It's perfect on the, under the under eyes, on the under eyes. And that's what I would mostly recommend it for. But I do apply a little bit all over the face. And it helps my makeup last longer. Especially since I do like my more dewy products. So this I highly recommend. The packaging, I don't know. It doesn't bother me that bad. But just so you know, it's dirty because I use it. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not being too repetitive if you've seen my other Shop My Stashes. I'm adding these Buxom um, blushes into 
this round as well. This is in the color Seychelles. It's similar in color to the L'Oreal Lumi Bronzet, but this is definitely a more, um, it's definitely redder. It's a little bit more red. It was so funny because I think, who was it? Was it Khaki or was it State of Kate? One of them decluttered this bron um, this bronzer. <laughs> One of them decluttered this blush because they said it was too gray or something about it having a gray undertone. I said that was super funny because I don't, I think it's just, I think it's actually more orangey. It's like an orangey brown and it has like that little bit of red in it. It's really beautiful. It does add that kind of like sun-kissed, almost verging on sunburnt cheek look especially if you apply it closer to the tops of your cheeks where um, your under eye meets. It's really pretty and these two have just been seeing so much um, attention from me, the Seychelles in particular, but we'll get into the next one. So this is Havana. This one I've been using more lately because I've been trying to use more pink lip products and this just adds kind of a baby doll look to the cheeks and this is that color these blushes the finish is very beautiful because they're satin but I don't think their lasting power is that great especially considering the fact that these are the buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blushes. Primer is supposed to make your makeup last longer, and I just don't see those results from these blushes, but the appearance of them is quite beautiful. So I just apply them pretty intensely on my cheeks and know that they're going to fade down considerably throughout the time that I wear them. I'm going to be adding the Artist Couture and Jackie Ina collaboration. This is their Diamond Glow Powder Highlight in La Peach. I got this when it was launched back in 2016, 2017. I brought this with me on my vacation to Vegas. You can check out what I packed in my makeup bag for that. And this was in there. I didn't get to wear it as much as I wanted to, but I wanted to add it to my shop, my stash so that I could see it and use it. The reflection on this is astounding. So it's like, like its name, peachy. I think I'll use it more now by applying it all over my cheeks versus just on the top of my cheekbones. I'm definitely paler now, and so this is a little bit dark just on my cheeks, but it's totally fine by me. And maybe I'll even apply this on my eyes. Like this is my, so this is my dry, boring hand. And this is the one with the reflect, the one with the Jackie. I, this is the one with La Peach. Wow. I don't usually wear primer, but I am wanting to get some use out of a few primers in my collection. And I selected the VDL Lumi Layer Primer to add to this shop my stash. I actually am wearing it right now. My makeup doesn't look that good right now, but that's just because I didn't really fully finish it. My, my base though, unmatched. So 
so it doesn't look like that much like like here it doesn't look like that much but then when the light hits it it's a little bit milky and that shine mm. this product is still new to me so I can't give my full review but I'm quite excited especially with this kind of appearance that it makes another glowy product that I'm adding to my shop my stash is this Chanel Le Beige's Le Beige sheer healthy glow highlighting fluid this is also something that's quite new to me but i am a little bit more familiar with this than the vdl lumi layer primer i got this because hannah louise poston said that it made her look like a soap bubble and that is what i am most interested in looking like Of course, it's a full pump on the back of my hand, which is not as large as my face. <laughs> and where the Lumi Layer primer is a little bit pink, a little bit blue, this is quite a sheer silver gold. I'm captivated. <laughs> I think I'll definitely use this more on the tops of my cheeks. I don't know if I'll wear it all over as a primer. This definitely looks more like a highlight than a primer, but we'll see. With this Shop My Stash, it gives me the opportunity to use this in a very variety of different ways and to really um, have a variety of options so when I sit down to do my makeup, everything's here in front of me and I can just pick as my heart desires so we'll see what my heart tells me to do with this so I picked the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for a superstar youth glow and honestly I think I'm going to put this in my makeup go backs I picked it but looking at the highlights that I've the liquid illuminators that I have already selected and the other powder highlights that I have, I don't think I need to have this out right now. So I can put it back and if I really want it, I'll pull it out, but we'll see how it goes and I'll make sure to do my best to update you on the next rotation. Another primer that I've pulled out because I really do want to use some primers is Tatcha's The Silk Canvas Primer. I've made quite a dent on it. It's been a long time since I've actually like gotten some serious use out of this. I stopped once I got my pan to be this big. Does it make any sense? No. <laughs> but I wanted to savor it and now is the chance for me to savor it. This is a pore filling primer. So I'm just going to get a little bit. This is the rice size amount that is recommended to use. I find myself using a little bit more than that, but I feel that my face looks like craters of the moon. But like, okay, let's see if I can get this up and close. So I can see that it has like basically like blurred from here to here. So you can see more of the texture on either side of where I placed it. But here it's just all filled because of the silicone and like those kinds of textures, those pore filling ingredients. This, I really do believe, is like a filter in a pot. <laughs> I'm excited to get more familiar with this and use it more. Who knows if I'll maybe even pan it. Another face powder that I've pulled out is the Kevin Aquan, um, the sculpting powder in medium. I've really been looking for a more chiseled look lately. I'm hoping to get more of the sculpted look from this powder. You may be able to tell, probably not though. 
I've got a little bit of a dent in here and this is just the most flattering shadow I've ever found in a product. It's quite expensive, but I feel that it takes a long time to use it up. So it may be worth it to you, but I think it's, I think it's worth it for myself and for how long I've used it and how long I've had it. It's just so pretty. I'm excited to have this in my shop, my stash, and get some more use out of it. For concealer, I pulled out this Collab No Flaws Liquid Concealer in Porcelain. I really enjoy this concealer. It's a really beautiful satin concealer. I usually use this dotted all over the face. For those specific cases of lightening and brightening, I've been trying to pull out the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is the shade light to medium. I got this May 2019. I've used it, but I honestly don't know how I feel about it. It's just kind of medium. <laughs> like, that's how I feel about it. Medium. Nothing very strong. We'll, we'll see how things go from here. It's the next day, so that's why... My sleeves are a little different. I'm wearing this really pretty um, Target jacket. Let's get into it. <laughs> so now it is time for the eyes. I have a bunch of other things in here as well, but I'll save the fragrances until later. One more complexion product that I'm adding is this Too Faced Peach Mist Mattifying Spray. It smells really good. It's mattifying. I got this back in 2017, but um, I've just been wanting to pull it out lately, tad a little bit more mattification um, since the weather has been kind of so, so at least where I live, sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold, but for those days that it's really hot, I do want a little bit of mattifying setting spray. I mostly just want to get a little bit more out of it and for the nostalgia factor of flashing back to 2017, this is, this just takes me right back. The first of my eye products that I'll be adding is the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. You can see the bottom. Wow, wow, wow. I'm so excited. This one has lasted me a long time and I just really love it. No other eye primer could ever compare, especially for my oily eyelids. This keeps my eye makeup on just about all day. Yes, there's sometimes a little bit of creasing, but it still outperforms every other eye primer I've ever tried. I have three mascaras coming into this Shop My Stash, and the first one is the Bambi Oversized Eye. I love this mascara so much. It is so fluttery and so beautiful. This is definitely the exaggerated version of the original Bambi Eye Mascara. I've done a few different features of this mascara in a couple of other videos, and I highly suggest that you check them out. Um, this one is just about done, but I still want to get the last little bits out, so I'm adding this to my Shop My Stash. But this one is still in the forefront. It's, it's definitely getting to the bottom. I'm so excited to finish it up, and I'm so excited to add it back into my collection. The third and last mascara I'm adding to this shop, my stash, is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara in, in Deep Green. This is really pretty. It is very dark, so it's not as noticeable of a color mascara, but it is still very much green. And I really do like pairing this with um, some green eyeshadow looks that I have coming up. So I'm excited to get more use out of this. For eyeliner, I'll be adding these three. First of which being the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Infinite Sand. So 
So it's just a beige. You can hardly notice it, but on my waterline, it really does appear as brightening. So that way it makes my eyes look wide awake. The next is the Marc Jacobs Highliner Eyeliner Gel in Pink of Me. I've added this because it's just a little bit of a change from the beige, but it's still very brightening. And this selection of eyeliners is a little bit more plain than in the past, but I have been focusing on other areas of my makeup and just wanted to keep this part um, pretty simple. And last but not least, most likely my favorite of my gel eyeliners is the Marc Jacobs Metallic Gel Highliner Eyeliner in Pewter Please. Ooh, this cap is on there nice and tight. I love using this right on below my lash line. It is so sultry and it adds a depth without um, making my eye look too dark. I really, really enjoy this. I also shopped my stash for a Maybelline Eye Studio potted gel eyeliner. And this is the black gel eyeliner. Hopefully I'll do a few more wings with this in my shop my stash sitting at my vanity. The last <laughs> The last eyeliner product that I showed you was inspired by Tan from Tan Bella on Instagram. I really, really love her so much. She's so sweet. She inspired me to practice my eyeliner skills again. I haven't really done, I haven't worn eyeliner every day like I did in high school. And she also inspired me to pull out some lashes. She talked about applying false eyelashes and it inspired me to pull these out. Um, these are just the Ardell Soft Touch Trios. Um, the package is inside out, but it's just these little clumps of eyelashes, which I think are a little bit easier for me to apply lashes. I don't, I don't know, lashes really scare me. But every time I've used these, they've looked fabulous. So I'm hoping to use these more. And for lash glue, I brought in the Ardell Lash Grip Eyelash Adhesive and the Duo Brush On Adhesive with Vitamins. I can't really give a solid review, but I'm just hoping that I'll use these. <laughs> Last in my eye category, I have a few eyebrow products. The first one being the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This is in the shade Cool Cookie. I mostly have been wearing clear brow gel and that's it, but I've been wanting to try out a darker, thinner brow. And I've been using this to fill in my very sparse brows. I'm adding the Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil in dark brown. Let's see how these look compared to each other. So this is the Perfect Brow Pencil in dark brown and this is the Urban Decay Brow Blade in Cool Cookie. At least the pencil side. The ink stain side looks like this. It's pretty excessive. I know I have so many brow products, but I have obviously cut down on a few other areas so that I could emphasize other areas. So I have two ABH dip brow gels. I have one in taupe and one in ebony. Taupe is very much too light for me. I got this when I had blonde hair and it served me very well then. And I also have ebony. I feel like this is probably too dark 
for my hair color now, but I'm hoping that by mixing the two of these together, I'll be able to get a color that works for me. And last but not least, I'm adding the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in Dark Brown. So basically this iteration of my Shop My Stash will be me figuring out the best brow product from my collection that will work for me for the next um, upcoming months. Before getting into the lip products, I'll quickly go through the perfumes. So the first perfume that I'm shopping my stash for is the Vivian Westwood Boudoir Perfume. I opened this. I did an unboxing of this on my latest vlog. I'm so intrigued by it and I really do enjoy it. It's nice and powdery. I'm hoping to use it a little bit more and get more familiar with it. It has a blend of cinnamon, cumin, marigolds, powdery scents, um, woody scents. There's truly so many, so much going on in this fragrance and I'm so excited to get more familiar with it. Next, I'll be adding Gucci Rush to my shop my stash i got this on um, during one of the sephora sales and in my shopping my stash for everything that i've ever bought at sephora i pulled this out and want to use it a little bit more it smells like sexy cleaner that's that's all i can say about it i've talked about this in a few other videos and i encourage you to watch those as well and I'll give you an update on what else I think about this. This is also something I bought at Sephora. And this is the Moschino Fresh Couture Moschino Eau de Toilette. This is a rollerball, which I'm not a big fan of rollerballs. But this scent is so fun. It's very aquatic and fresh, and nice and citrusy. I really, I really do enjoy this. This is a, my first ever perfume was given to me by my mother. It was the Davidoff Cool Water for Women. And this to me feels kind of like a riff off that. So it's very fresh, it's watery, but it's also fun and funky. Last but not least is my signature fragrance. Um, this is Mugler Angel Nova, the Eau de Parfum. I always have this sitting out on my desk, and I'm... I don't know if you can tell. You probably can't see it, but there is a significant dent on this. I just watched Lauren May Beauty's uh, fragrance video, her scent Sunday, where she talked about perfumes that she has a big dent in, and maybe you can... Okay. Maybe if I do this. No. <laughs> it's right here. So I've used up almost more than half. I'm so excited. I love this so much. It's sweet, floral, flirty. It's roses, lychee, and akigalia wood. I cannot sing the praises of Mugler Angel Nova anymore. Now we'll be pulling in all of the lip products. It is so full. We'll see. We'll see how quickly I can go through this. So right off the top, I've got a few kind of lip balm type products. First, I'll talk about the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Berry. This is fantastic. It's so beautiful. It's a little bit more aesthetic than it is a, a balm, but it is it's still nourishing to the lips. I really do enjoy it. This is an absolute favorite. It's pretty and utilitarian. My two favorite things. Along with that is the NYX. This is Juice Gloss. 
this is in Strawberry Flex and similar to the last one, but this is definitely more aesthetic than it is utilitarian. It's like so juicy. It makes your lips look so plump. This just makes your lips look absolutely drenched. And the fact that it's strawberry is one of my favorite things. It's my favorite flavor. And I really am enjoying this so much. I think this is really fun. Now, onto a true balm. This is the perfume, the this is the Rosebud Perfume Company Smith's Tropical Ambrosia Balm. This is fabulous. Truly a fun experience every time I apply this. It is a balm just as it says in its name. It is absolutely clear. And I apply this every time that I um, do my makeup. So I do, I apply my skin prep first. I apply this and then I get started onto the makeup. So this is the L'Oreal Paris Glow Paradise Lip Balm in Gloss. Hopefully I remember the name correctly. This is the Celestial Blossom. This doesn't look like anything on the lips, but it also does. It's a very pale gloss and it does, this does blank out my lips a little bit. It's a little bit milky. I'm using it up at such a quick speed. I'm sure this will be done pretty quickly. I also want to swatch the NYX. This is a gloss to show you what it looks like. It is slightly pink. I apply like half a dozen layers to my lips, so the tint does show up a smidge, but as you can see there, it's a sheer pink. I'm adding three lip glosses to this Shop My Stash. The first one being Buxom's Full On Lip Cream in Dolly. This is a nice cool tone mauve and it really does go every day with everything. The Buxom Full On Lip Creams are so lovely. If you enjoy a plumping gloss, and plumping glosses are really seeing a moment right now, I think that'll definitely be a makeup trend for this year, but especially going into the summer. These Buxom lip glosses are fabulous. Another Buxom plumping lip gloss is this full-on lip polish in Kimberly. I got this because I wanted a pale pink with a shimmer. This is so darling. It has a little bit of the pink, but it's very pale. It's a very it's a baby pink lip gloss. And the iridescent shimmer makes your lips look so wet and glossy. And I also chose the MAC Lip Glass in Oyster Girl. This is another baby pink lip gloss, but this is cooler toned than Kimberly. So lip glosses, if I remember correctly, are not plumping, but the sheer reflection of them, the glass, aspect of it makes your lips look very full. No tingling needed. Next I'll get into my bullet lipsticks before I show you the couple of liquid lipsticks that I'm adding to this Shop My Stash rotation. My favorite lipstick formula has to be the Revlon Super Lustrous Glass Shine Lipstick. This one is in the shade Shine Stealer. It's this lovely red. 
It's very pigmented, but it's so easy to build up or sheer out however you'd like. And this looks so expensive. You would hardly think that you got this finish out of a lipstick that costs less than $10. The next shade I have in this is Dazzle Me Pink. This is a beautiful hot pink lipstick. This is just so glamorous. Dare I say that Dazzle Me Pink dazzles me. I'm also bringing another pink. If you can't tell, I'm obsessed with pink. It's my favorite color. This one is so sleek pink, which is a baby pink. This one's so nice. I bought it twice. Oh my gosh, I need to stop with the rhyming. <laughs> but I actually, I lost this. I must have left it somewhere. I always keep this in my purse. But I bought it again because I just needed it so badly. And this is a very unique color to my collection. And I also have Sparkling Quartz. This is the clear version of their Glass Shine. The shimmers do have a kind of white effect they're a little silvery, so this does make your lips look a little bit paler, but I still do really enjoy it. These I honestly apply without a mirror and they look absolutely flawless. Okay y'all, this is the third day of filming. We just have a little bit to go. I have a few more bullet lipsticks and then I'll get into the matte liquid lipsticks. The bullet lipsticks I have are also, not all of them are Revlon, but I'm going to finish off with the Revlon. The majority of my lip collection, my lipstick collection is Revlon just because they have so many colors. I, it's kind of a long story, but, I just really love their lipsticks. Their formula is special to me because I like that it's a little bit, like the bullet itself is kind of stiff, but it's pigmented and buildable. They have a variety of different finishes that really speak to me. And it's just, to me, Revlon has, just makes the best lipsticks hands down. Also, the packaging is really nice and feels high-end. They're also mostly around $5, which is kind of unbeatable. Specifically, like, I would think that these are way more expensive. I just, I like that you can see it from the top and the bottom. But anyway, let's just get into the colors. So this one I have is Fuchsia Fusion. This is a pearl finish lipstick that is fuchsia, this deep magenta. I selected some, quite a few bright colors and I'm hoping to push myself outside of the box and wear these. So you can see there's a little bit of the shimmer, but it's, again, it's more pearl. It's a blue leaning magenta. It just like just this swatch makes me so excited. It makes me want to put it on and these look great like with simple eye looks, more dramatic eye looks. They just make you feel like a diva and that's how I want to feel. I want to feel like a diva. <laughs> and then the next color I'll go in is um, sheer. This is a sheer lipstick called Kissable Pink. This is sheer and shiny. On the lips, it looks a little bit more punchy. But here, it doesn't look as dramatic. When I put on a lip balm before applying this, it is a soft pink. And it's 
it's just really lovely. This really stands out in the finish. Pearl lipsticks. I know they're not very popular because matte lipsticks and solid cream color lipsticks have such a hold. <laughs> and they're also not shimmery either, but they add a beautiful dimension to the lips. If you overline a little bit with these, it makes your lips look believable in the volume that it adds. And I just highly recommend these. So yeah, this one is Kissable Pink. I also picked out Flushed. This is a cream lipstick, so this doesn't have the pearl finish. I like mix so many, many colors with these. So this is more of a salmon pink. It's leans a little bit orange. So yeah, these are blue and visibly more cool toned and this one's warm. And this last one from the Super Lustrous, yeah, these are the Revlon Super Lustrous. So where the, whereas these are the Super Lustrous Glass Shine, these are the Glass Shines. These are the classic Super Lustrous. So this is Superstar Brown. This color palette right here. This, these are all, all my favorite colors right here. Beautiful, gorgeous, stunning. One last, this is a very special lip product. So this is the last Revlon product I'll mention in this video. And this is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in Sugar Frosting. I bought this especially off eBay. It was brand new, sealed and everything. I've made so much progress on it. There's not that much left. And this color is beautiful. I wanted to see how this compared to um, Glossier's um, Ultra Lip in Lucite. I got this because everyone was talking about how Revlon lip butters are the absolute best. And I just had to see. I just had to see it for myself. And it doesn't smell bad. It wears very beautifully. And this is this is just so gorgeous. So this is the swatch of the lip butter and sugar frosting. And this is the Glossier Lucite. I, I don't think these are great. The texture is so much harder. Like this bullet is so much stiffer than the color burst. I understand why a lot of people like this and I've I've used quite a bit of this myself but I just don't enjoy this. The packaging is beautiful but the formula itself is honestly nothing to write home about. So they look nearly identical. I mean I'll just be another one joining the call that Revlon takes their lip butters out of discontinuation and puts it back in because these are fab. And this is drab. Next in the shop, my stash. These are these two are some very special featuring stars. And these are the Gucci. These are their gothic metallic lipsticks. I have Billy Magenta. So it's it's got a black base, but the shimmer makes it shine and this is norma pink i really want lynn silver so badly and i lost my chance to buy it on the secondhand market these are not being sold anywhere from what i can tell but these don't look as unwearable as they appear on my hand and norma pink looks like a nude. So I'm hoping to get more use out of these. They're they're very special and I rather than waiting for an occasion to wear this, I want to make the occasion. I want to make the occasion for me to wear this.
the last two products I have are two liquid lipsticks and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Karina. This is a hot, hot, hot pink, very bright. I've had this for a long time and whenever I want to buy a liquid lipstick or I want to buy a lipstick that looks this color, I go to my collection and pull this out and put it on and remind myself why I have this and why I don't need to buy any more. And Karina is, it's, it's very stunning. This color just makes me feel very glamorous and I don't get to wear it very often, but sometimes you just gotta make it happen for yourself. Sometimes I'll just be the most glamorous person sitting in my office. <laughs> The next one is the Fenty Beauty uh, Stenna Lip Paint in Uncensored. This is a lovely red. I love this applicator and everything. I pulled this out because I was watching Emily's makeup bag on YouTube. She had a video about pink makeup and she featured one of the Stenna lip paints and talked about how the formula was amazing and I was like true like it's true the formula is is quite lovely and it just like even just looking at the comparison between these two this one like feathers a little bit it's a little bit drier but this is a little bit more inky but it doesn't feather So yeah, I'm so excited that I shot my stash for this. I'm going to set it out. It looks like a beautiful piece of decor. And so the fact that you can also use it and look like an icon. <laughs> I'm so excited to use this. So yeah, that's it on shopping my stash. Thank you for coming along with me in the journey of this video and watching along. If there's anything here that you want to learn more about or any colors or products that you're seeing. I can totally do more videos on it. Let me know in the comments. Please like this video and subscribe. I'm so excited that you made it to the end if you're seeing this. So yeah, thank you so much. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.